Today, we check out the Hotels and Retreats DLC. This series, we've done it all from exploiting industries, aircraft, public transport, 90,000 citizens, parks, ships, to new inventions, and looking after the rich. But there's one more industry we need to exploit, and that's the new Hotels and Retreats DLC. Taking a look at hotel locations, in terms of shopping, you can see it's very green here. We go to businesses, you see it's very very green over here. In terms of nature, it's pretty much everything along the water. And sightseeing, well, it's all of our parks. So when we take a look at these budget hotels, I think it's gonna be best to place it along this main road here. We wanna make sure we come into each hotel and we're charging the absolutely most. And honestly, you can tell the difference because these budget hotels have a price of $25 per night, whereas these ones are 15. So this will be interesting. So running the game, guest counts are slowly going up, which is actually really good. But we can come in here and manage hotels and you'll start to see in terms of profits, well, we're not making any profits yet, right? And the popularity is quite small. Oh, there we go. Making some nice weekly profits. But in terms of Chirpa Hotels, we're going to need to call this something special. So using ChatGPT, give me some hotel company names. Well, here's what we've got. So the name that we're going to use is Royal Ridge Hotel. And then coming back into the game, we can choose our logo. And because we are a hotel, well, do we want more of a resorty hotel? Hotel. One with maybe mountains. I think the ones with mountains would be all right. And a color. We have to do like a green for like profits. And just like that, we unlock the next set of hotels. We get the city hotel, the mountain lodge, and a boat hotel. But we're going to take a look at this one first, the city hotel. So having a look at this, it's $30. We'll drag this one up as much as we can. So that's now going to be $40 a night, 200 maximum guests. That's insane. And we've also got this boat hotel we can actually take a look at. So where would we place a boat hotel? Well, I think a boat hotel would be nice right here, but we're going to have to delete this old building that we honestly do not need anymore and place it in right here. It's got its own road connection. That's actually pretty cool. And in terms of this, we could actually just crank that up maybe to about $45 a night. So we're at $7,800 now for income. What we can take a look at now is pretty much just trying and duplicating what we've got. So seeing that this hotel is doing fantastic, let's upgrade these roads and place in another city building. Of course, we need a bit of anarchy to make this happen. And in the matter of no time, we're up to the next level. Four stars out of five. So let's take a look at what we unlock next. We get... The Conference Hotel, the Spa Resort, and of course, the Ocean Resort. So what I think we'll do, we'll delete maybe this road. Wow, that is cool. All right, $46 a night. We've got a lot of things that we need to do here. We've got to fill this hotel up to the brim to be making any type of decent returns on this. Wow, $6,000 a week, honestly, and only $46 a night. So we've got to somehow get up to $40,000 now. I honestly don't know how that's going to even happen. Oh, nice road layout is in. Now it's time to just zone up some buildings. Along the bridge here, we're going to make sure we've got some offer zoning. I'm also going to make sure, in terms of this area, let's also get some more offer zoning throughout here. We might just get some shops here down the front as well as down here. So I think something like this would be ideal. And what I've done prior to building all this road layout, I built this little section over here. Now, in terms of sightseeing, we do need some sightseeing. So what can we do? So part of the retreats, you've got these tiny playgrounds, tiny parks. Okay, if we put like example one in here, maybe one over here, these tiny parks. Does that, ooh, it kind of does, doesn't it? Okay, we've got this pond park we can take a look at. Let's also get these cafes and tourist parks along here as well. We definitely got to get this old bridge one in here somehow with maybe like a restaurant and cafe. And because we're super awesome, we're now five stars out of five. And guess what we unlock? The final build. Buildings, Heritage Hotel, the Deluxe Hotel, and of course, the Design Hotel. And you betcha, I've already put them all in to our beautiful city. Doesn't these buildings just look in it? 
incredible. The cool thing about these buildings is, though, guys, you can actually host events. So what are we going to do? A business conference. Over here at the Designer Hotel, we can do a fashion show, a fundraising dinner, or a travel fair. And you know what? Because we are a design hotel, let's start a fashion show. Coming over into the Heritage Hotel, we can do a charity ball, an award ceremony, or a masquerade. I don't know what I'm saying. A party. I personally think let's do an award ceremony here. So that's going to bring lots of people into the area. There's a lot of abandoned buildings in Sydney itself, but who cares? Because honestly, these buildings just look fantastic. So how much are we making now? $76,000 a week. Well, that's a wrap on the most exploited country. Honestly, though, guys, I love this city. We've done extremely well. I honestly cannot wait for Cities 2. If you guys can't wait for Cities 2, guys, make sure you comment down below. But otherwise, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this series. If you didn't go enjoy today's video, guys, make sure you subscribe down below. And guys, I'll see you all in a new video soon.